Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. Is the BSA Gold Star, the new BSA Gold Star, is it such a shit bike? That's what we're talking about today. Quick story short, I went into Stafford yesterday, went into one of the dealers and they were asking what bikes I'd got. I said I'd got the Tiger and the BSA Gold Star. And when I mentioned the BSA Gold Star, it was, oh God, that was a bad, but that was a bad purchase. Wheel bearings, nothing works, everything's wrong. And I said, I said to the guy, I said, really? I said, I, I said, you always hear bad news everywhere on social media, but I haven't heard much, if any, bad news about the Gold Star. And my Gold Star seems to be running beautifully. Oh no, they're crap car, crap bikes, crap bikes. And I said, where, where did you get this from? And he's there saying, oh, I've seen it all before. The wheel bearings are crap and the end, end up being need to be replaced and all this. I've, I've never heard of this. Never heard of this. So comment below if you know of any issues with the BSA Gold Star other than the engine light coming on, yeah, which hopefully they'll get a firmware update at some point in the future, yeah, uh, let me know in the comments below because I've not experienced this and I've not seen much negative stuff on YouTube about the BSA Gold Star. You know, I'm, I'm just, just wondering, oh, it's a crap engine. Really? Really? It's a crap engine made by Rotax. Really? Yeah, as in... Rotax, the one that make aviation engines, and it's like, and it's bizarre. Are you finding this if you're a BSA owner? Yeah? I suppose they used to go through this with Royal Enfield when they started in their next, in their current generation of models. Oh, they're crap. Blah, 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 blah. No, they're not crap. They're really good. And they're really good for the price point. They're really good for the price point. So tell me below, if you're a BSA owner, have you experienced lots and lots of issues with your BSA Gold Star? And let's get the cards out on the table. Let's make sure we understand what the issues are, if any, with the Gold Star. Because I don't know any other than the mentioned ECU problem. It is a bit bizarre. Or is it only my BSA in the UK that's perfectly fine? I don't know. What do you think? Comment below. Tell me what's, what your understanding of the BSA is. I haven't had any problems with my BSA. The only, in fact, the only problem I have with the BSA is that my hands get a bit cold in the winter. So to, re so, so to correct that, I put Oxford grips on the bike. And now my hands are toasty and warm. That's nothing to do with the bike. That's to do with me and the environment and how cold it is. Eh? It's an interesting world. It's an interesting world. Tell me what your thoughts are. I mean, I, my bike's got 2,000 miles on it now. 
and it's been faultless. You know, it's it's been a great bike. It rides well, it, it handles well, it brings the attention from other folk and they smile and when they look at it. And that's a good thing. Making people smile is a good thing. Yeah. But uh, I've had a lovely time with the Royal Enfield. Uh, not the Royal Enfield, sorry, the BSA Gold Star. I also had a lovely time with the Royal Enfield Hunter. That was a lovely bike. Yeah. But tell me your thoughts. Because, you know, I walk into a dealership and mention the BSA Gold Star and it's, oh, goodness me, that was a bad decision buying one of the... Really? Really? I think she's lovely. She's got tons of power. Pulls two up, no problems. With a pillion on the bike. Absolutely no problems. It's, uh, you know, time's coming now where... I mean, we're in March 2024 and, you know, I'm going to start taking the Tiger or the BSA out for a ride, a long tour, maybe a couple of nights away in the UK, maybe even to France. I keep on thinking about it. I really ought to do something constructive and actually do it, but it's still a bit cold. Um, So I think I'm going to have to wait till April or May. Uh, maybe it's just that I'm getting old and just can't stand the cold but uh, for long periods of time but uh, you know tell me your thoughts if you're a BSA owner or if you are thinking about buying a BSA gold star what are you hearing in the in the system what noise are you hearing because am I the only one with a gold star that's absolutely perfect and wonderful. Eh? I don't know. You tell me. Be open and honest. Because I don't think it's a shit bike, as uh, was quoted. It's far from shit. It's lovely. It's far from shit. What do you think? Tell me your thoughts. It's a bizarre world. You know, I, don't, I don't know, maybe it's me. Maybe it's just me. Tell me your thoughts and come back to us. And put your comments below. Is the BSA as bad as what the guy that I was talking to yesterday thinks? Is it a bad bike? Because I think it's wonderful. In fact, my neighbour took it out for a couple of hours the other day. And he came by. He took his missus. She went on the bike. And they went for a ride for a couple of hours. And he came by. And he thought it was wonderful. The only, the only comment he made was he thought that the distance between the foot peg and the seat was a bit short, shorter than he's used to. He said it was about 19 inches and on his bikes, which is a a Royal Enfield 350 Classic, I think, and an NC750, Honda NC750. Uh, They're about, not 19 inch, but somewhere in the region of 21 inch between the seat and the foot peg. So, you know. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Tell me in the uh, tell me in the comments below. Let's generate a conversation and put this to bed. Or is it just my BSA that's perfectly fine? Am I the lucky one in the UK? Am I the only one that's got a BSA that's fine? I don't think so. Tell me what your thoughts are below. I hope you found this interesting. Ride safely. Be kind to everyone. You never know what their story is. And uh, I shall see you very soon. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.